and your jungle before the
Yan Sang This hospital was first built in 1977 after Tom Dooley Heritage came here in response to the problems of refugees collecting here and needing medical care. The hospital ward has been remodeled and improved several times since then, and now we can hold approximately 60 patients at one time. The hospital now has been built up to the stage where it probably is meeting the basic needs of the people in the camp and the surrounding area here. We have basic laboratory and basic x-ray facilities and basic equipment. We're always running short of ordinary things which break down and are hard to replace. But we try to make do with what we have and provide the best possible care that we can to the people in this area. We have two clinic buildings, both of which provide services to under five children. We try to emphasize education and preventive medicine in these clinics and also give vaccinations. We also have feeding facilities for malnourished children and for malnourished adults who have chronic diseases, tuberculosis, uh, opium patients who are trying to get off opium, um, people with chronic renal disease. There are antenatal clinics we try to provide the pregnant women and lactating mothers with extra food supplements and vitamins to try to make it easier for their children to make it through the first five years of their life. There are TB follow-up clinics and pharmacies in the camp which try to give medicines on a regular basis to these people who don't really understand the importance of daily compliance with, med uh, with medicine regimes.